This afternoon, Kentucky's governor ripped a move to reverse his mask mandate for schools, saying it puts kids, parents and workplaces in danger and there's little he can do about it. The next move belongs to superintendents. Reporter Larry Seward is live in Boone County where leaders responded right away. Larry, what's their plan? Well, Kristen, before news, noon, this message hit the web and cell phones telling students and staff that they still have to wear masks in building and on school buses. And the choice to do so is more than a sore spot for Kentucky's governor. Landing in Florence. I do believe that endangers kids. Governor Andy Bashir mints no words about schools in the statewide mask mandate overturned by Kentucky's General Assembly, vetoed, then overridden by a supermajority. Still, there's back and forth over what's right and what's at stake for the Commonwealth. And there's only one right answer. That's universal masking. We believe that this decision is best made at the local level by school boards and superintendents. What might work in Florence might not work in Paducah. My hope is that every superintendent will make the right decision. We'll put the safety of our kids above politics. That's what I was trying to do. For 18 months, Governor Bashir has run this state, frankly, you know, like a, like a potentate, like an emperor. They pushed this off to local decision makers not making a call uh, at all. We now have reestablished the balance of power. With freedom to choose, Campbell County Superintendent posted this, saying he intends to keep his district's mask mandate in place. Dayton Independent, Boone County, and Fort Thomas all shared similar statements. Senate Majority Floor Leader Damon Thayer thinks giving them flexibility going forward is healthy. Parents can have input with their school board members and their superintendent, and it, it, it might be decisions made school by school instead of district by district. Governor Bashir is less optimistic. Why can't we just trust school systems to, to do the right thing? Well, all over the country, school systems have chosen not to do the right thing. And what it was in, in Texas, I think I just read an article um, that we have here in Texas. You know, a school district that was given the option and said, oh, no, we're going to do masks optional. And two teachers die. And now they're saying, OK, We'll mandate masks. With 93 ICU beds left in the state, both sides worry about what's next, hoping their decisions keep kids safe. With some of his power stripped, Governor Bashir told me it's like fighting with one arm tied behind his back and that going forward, the legislature is going to have to own this pandemic. Live in Florence, Larry Seward, WCPO 9 News.